Janis Joplin's driving self of vocals on Peace of My Heart were recorded on May 20th, 1968 in New York City by writer-composer John Simon. At this point in her life, Janis had three years remaining and was part of the group Big Brother and Holding Company. Peace of My Heart appeared on Big Brother's second album, Cheap Thrills, the name shortened from Sex, Dope and Cheap Thrills because of the record company. It was the culmination of a hugely successful year for Big Brother, with performances at Monterey Pop Festival, The Wake from Martin Luther King Jr. and Janice's appearance on the Dick Cavett Show. It was also at a point when Janice was overtaking the spotlight from her bandmates, becoming the queen of San Francisco's height Ashbury scene. Released on August 12, 1968, just one year after Big Brother's debut, Cheap Thrills was certified gold by October 15, 1968, noting $1 million worth of sales. With subsequent sales reaching a million units, it made its way to number one on the Billboard charts eight weeks after its release and stayed there for a further eight non-consecutive weeks, making it one of the most successful albums of 1968. The album driven no doubt by the release of Peace of My Heart as a single, Janice's amazing vocals, plus what she was doing live, what the band were doing, all culminated in it being a really big hit. There's two versions of the single release, one of them, the B-side, was Summertime, and then the other was one of Janice's first, if not her first, ever composition, Turtle Blues. Clive Davis, the legendary Columbia Records executive, said that Cheap Thrills was the first album he was ever involved in and Janis Joplin was the first artist that he signed on the 26th floor of the Black Rock building in Manhattan. Production and writing duo Jerry Ragavoy and Burt Burns wrote Peace of My Heart and it was first recorded by Irma Franklin, Aretha Franklin's older sister in 1967. Irma's version was more underground, making it onto the R&B charts in America, but it didn't chart at all in the UK until it was used in a Levi's commercial 25 years after it was released. Co-songwriter Burt Burns was producing Van Morrison's Blowing Your Mind album, his debut, in 1967. He asked Van if he wanted to use Peace of My Heart that had been written, but not recorded, but he declined wanting to do his own songs. Burt Burns never got to hear Janice's version because he died of a heart attack on December 30th, 1967. Until her death in 1970, this was Janis Joplin's biggest hit and her most well-known song. She did have posthumous Chris Christopherson cover of Me and Bobby McGee, went to number one in 1971. Although she wasn't the first to cover it, and she wasn't the last. It is most associated with Janice, more so than Irma. According to Dave Getz, Big Brother's drummer, it was brought to them by Jack Cassidy of Jefferson Airplane when they were on an East Coast tour in 1968. It says that Jack came to one of Big Brother's rehearsals, played the song to them, said he thinks they should do it and they all loved it, Janice loved it. Emma Franklin said that she heard Janice's version of it on the radio and in a 1973 interview she said she wasn't bitter about her covering it because it was so different to hers. The song's arrangement was put together by Sam Andrew, Big Brother's founding member and one of two guitarists along with James Gurley. Their twin guitar attack gave it its psychedelic edge along with the distorted leads that Andrews plays. Past the original Irma Franklin version, the song's been covered by a multitude of artists over the years, taking it into the Billboard Hot 100 multiple times. Sammy Hagar fronted Van Halen for a while, took it to number 73 in 1983, reviving the track. Melissa Etheridge sang a version in 1994 at Woodstock as part of a medley of Janis Joplin tunes. Also in 1994, Faith Hill's version of it went to number one on the country charts. 1997, the reggae rap star Shaggy took it onto the UK charts for the first time, making it up to number seven. British singer Beverly Knight released it in 2006 as part of her Best Of compilation. The song came to greater mainstream attention sooner when Big Brother covered it and released it, making it reach number 12 on the Hot 100 Billboard chart. 
In 2004, the Big Brother version made it onto the Rolling Stones' greatest 500 songs of all time list, coming in at number 344. The song is also included among the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. So here's what the guitars are doing. same tattoo on my wrist. Hope you enjoyed that. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, give me a share. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.